Disney CEO Bob Iger, this guy, is fighting battles on all sides these days. He's got Florida Governor Ron DeSantis on one side, writers and actors striking on another, and now a fight with Charter Communications and its director emeritus, the so-called cable cowboy, John Malone. Charter has stopped offering Disney-owned channels, and a lot of people are upset. Charter is the second biggest cable operator in the U.S., with around 15 million customers. And this is right around the start of college football season. People are not happy. The issue boils down to a new contract proposed by Disney, rejected by Charter. It sounds like Disney's price was maybe a little too rich for Charter's blood. Disney says the agreement, quote, reflects market-based terms, but Charter clearly feels otherwise, saying Disney's prices would force it to raise its own fees. Here's part of their statement, quote, we would agree to the Walt Disney Company's significant rate increase despite their declining ratings, but they are trying to force our customers to pay for their very expensive programming, even those customers who don't want it, or worse, can't afford it. The current video ecosystem is broken, end quote. God, I feel so bad for Charter. Not really. Fees from Charter were expected to generate around $2.2 billion for Disney, so this is kind of hurting them, plus some advertising revenue on top of that.